The construction for the first ever supersonic airliner factory in the U.S. is complete. Boom supersonic leadership, Governor Roy Cooper and more gathered today in Greensboro to celebrate the completion of the supersonic airliner factory. WFNY News News Hannah Jeffries is live at the ribbon cutting. Hannah, this is a big step. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. This is a day that we have all been waiting for, right? What an exciting day over here at Boom Supersonic near PTI. Now we just had lots of people here, state leadership, the CEO, CEO of Boom Supersonic. We heard from all of them earlier. Here is the best part though. They cut the ribbon on the Overture Super Factory and I'm sure we have video of that to show you guys. I want to tell you a little bit about this Super Factory. Here's what we know. This Overture Super Factory is a state of the art facility located at PTI. The site will have a final assembly line and customer delivery center for Supersonic Airliner Overture, hence the name. And all of this is supposed to be happening by 2032. Hiring, get this, more than 2,400 workers. Manufacturing programs uh, will grow the state's economy by at least, this is what economic economists predict, 32.3 billion with a B, underline it, dollars over the next 20 years. Now, you can go ahead and hear from the CEO. Here's what he had to say during the presentation this morning. The supersonic airliners we are building here in Greensboro will be delivered to airlines on six continents, ensuring the future of American leadership in aerospace manufacturing. The Overture Super Factory behind me is designed to produce 33 Overture supersonic airliners and we plan to build two, maybe three of these factories here on our campus in Greensboro. All right, guys, now I want to tell you what's really cool about this airliner. It is actually, from what they say, going to completely change the industry of flights. It's saying that it's going to cut travel time in half. They were talking about just imagining a mom being home from a work trip to cook dinner for her kid, you know, without having to wait overnight or those even long times, saying it's going to completely transform that. As you can hear, probably, I told you we're right near PTI as planes take off right now. So, of course, that is really fitting for this event, too. You can hear from the CEO and from more state leadership about how this was a bipartisan project that is coming together here in the Carolina Corps coming up tonight at 4, 5, and 6. For now, live in Greensboro, I'm Hannah Jeffries, WFMY News 2.